Well, today I'm going to take you on a tour of Cork City. I'm going to take you five of the best places to see in this beautiful city full of culture and history. So join me and enjoy this video. Crawford Art Gallery is a national cultural institution dedicated to visual art located in a significant heritage building in the heart of Cork City. Home to a collection of national importance, it tells a compelling story of Cork and Ireland over the last three centuries, while also offering a vibrant and dynamic programme of temporary exhibitions. So here in the heart of the gallery is a collection of Greek and Roman sculpture casts brought to Cork in 1818 from the Vatican Museum. Known as the Canova Casts, they were gifted to Crawford Art Gallery. The Canova Casts were made under the supervision of renowned neoclassical Italian sculptor Antonio di Canova. They depict Napoleon's mother, Maria Letizia, a noblewoman from Corsica. Another depicts the goddess Concordia, who was essentially modelled on Napoleon's second wife. Then there's the bathing Venus. These three works are derived from Canova's own work. There are 12 pieces in the cast collection are derived from antiquities. So we have some of the great works in the Vatican collection, including the Belvedere Torso and the Apollo Belvedere. Crawford Art Gallery is open seven days a week, free to enter and a must-see for locals and tourists alike. The gallery boasts an award-winning cafe in stunning surroundings, serving fresh local produce for which Cork is famous for. So now I'm going to take a walk around Crawford Art Gallery and explore this amazing place. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks. The English Market is a municipal food market in the centre of Cork City. It stretches from Princess Street to the Grand Parade and combines Princess Street Market and Grand Parade Market. The market is regarded for both its mid-19th century architecture and locally produced arts and food. Next in our top five places to visit in Cork, we go to the Marina Road Walk. The Marina Road Walk is the perfect place to go if you want to get away from city centre traffic. 
it's now pedestrianised with no cars, so it's suitable for cyclists and walkers. There's also the, the Atlantic Pond, with as much wildlife, including swans and ducks. It's a great place to go to have a nice relaxing walk. I'd highly recommend it. Fitzgerald's Park is the original site of the 1902 International Exhibition held in Cork and named after Lord Mayor Edward Fitzgerald. The legacy of this World Trade Fair is this oasis on the outskirts of Cork City, which still features the original pavilion and ornamental fountain from the exhibition era. The park offers a quiet retreat from the hustle and bustle of the city. Shandon Bells and Tower St Anne's Church is the most important ecclesiastical structure of any period. The tower forms a striking landmark visible from many parts of the city, which is red sandstone north and east and white ashlar limestone south and west. It is believed that the colours of the tower gave rise to the sporting colours of Cork. Built in 1722 as a chapel of ease to the former St Mary's Church Shandon, which was originally situated on this site, but was destroyed in the Siege of Cork in 1690. The site where St Anne stands and St Mary stood has been a site of worship since before medieval times. The steps of the tower are built into the seven foot thick walls and climb up past the clocks through the belfry to the balcony, 36.6 metres above the ground. The tower was raised in height in 1750 to accommodate the eight bells. Shandon Cathedral overlooking Cork City and the view is absolutely spectacular. You have to come up here and have a look at it. You can see the whole city from here. 360 view. What a spectacular view. So folks, this is going to conclude my video on the five best places to see in Cork City. I hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, take care.